All right. Okay. So welcome back to the streamies, everybody. Honestly, I thought we were still going to be playing Sonic Shuffle today, so... Uh, today's going to be a little weird. We are literally one day before October starts. Currently September 30th. Tomorrow's liter literally October 1st. Hold on here. There we go, that was bugging me. So yeah, tomorrow's literally October, so... I didn't want to start the next game, which would have been Sonic Adventure 2, and then immediately ditch it for an entire month, because once again, for the Screamies, we won't be doing Sonic streams for the month of October, so we're, we're going to be taking a break from these Sonic streams. Which means that this is, hey, a great spot. This, this is going to be a great note to end on for... For now. So yeah, I, I don't know how long the stream's gonna be. I've got a, a folder here full of some games. I think some of them might not actually work. Uh, a lot of the games I was looking for are actually just lost content. Lost content. Lost media forever. So we'll try to do what we can, I guess. But, yeah. So, we'll get into this. We'll get into this. Let's switch over here. Let's uh, switch over here. It's been a while since we've heard this music. Alright, so, in the early 2000s, Right around the time that Sonic was, uh, you know, relaunched, rebooted, however you want to put it, everybody was carrying around one of these. Kids these days might not know what this is, but this, this is what a phone used to be. This is a flip phone. Oh, these bad boys. It's a different time. And honestly, I, I would argue that I, I, I still kind of like this aesthetic. Like, if I could, I would absolutely ditch this piece of shit and go back to a garbage flip phone. A Motorola Razor. I don't know what it is, but I, I really like it. So, you know, these things could barely do anything. They could text, they could call. They can have a calendar, but could they game? Uh, kinda, kinda, sorta. But, surprisingly, there was a market for this. There was a market for this. Uh, an actual image I could take here. Sure. Yeah, well, give me a sec. WebP's files. You know, our favorite. There was a market of, uh, hey, we should maybe release some, uh, games on these phones because you know people sometimes they don't have a Game Boy they don't have a PSPs didn't exist at this time they don't have a Game Boy they don't have a Neo Geo Pocket they just have their phone sometimes they need to pass the time and they got nobody to talk to 
absolutely nobody. So Saga, as they do, figured that, uh, why don't we introduce the world to the Sonic Cafe? In Japan only, mind you. Let's see here. The Sonic Cafe was Sega's mobile phone game service in Japan. For a fee of 315 yen a month after tax. So that was about $3, $3.15 a month. The user received access to the library, the entire library of currently available games and could download them as many times as they wanted to. The service was available on the iMode, the Easy Web, and the Vodafone. I have never heard of anything. Any of these. And uh, looking at them, I don't think what we are expecting today is going to be great. Home? Yeah, they're, they're just all prehistoric flip phones. So I'm not expecting much for the games we got today. Uh, the service was only available in Japan, however. A select few of these games became available in the United States and Europe through the Sega mobile service. So, even when I had a flip phone in, like, fucking 2002-2003... Not even 2002, dude. It's like 2004-2005. I saw that there was Sonic games available, but... They... They were not promising. And even the, the ones I have it in our folder here, I, I've never actually played. The only game I actually bought on my phone was uh, Mega Man 2. And that ran like garbage, so... My... Expectations for today aren't great. Uh, so... There was the Sonic Cafe list of games, which th there are a few. But there was a lot more Sonic games available on mobile from 2001 all the way to 2007. Again, we're not going to cover all of them because a lot of them are just gone forever. E even a bunch of these, like, we're not going to be playing. There's only YouTube footage, which we'll watch, I guess. Like, some of these games I can literally see from the titles are not going to be very involved. So don't get your expectations up. But there are a lot more Sonic Mobile games than, uh, you know, the Sonic Cafe and flip phone stuff. So we're not going to cover all of them today. We're going to cover whatever is in the Sonic Cafe and then, you know, some other games that we uh, have here that don't quite hit the match the cut so like the sonic and the olympic games not covering that today the sonic unleashed mobile game not covering that today we'll get to that eventually we're we're covering the the barely a sonic game those kind of games Uh, but luckily, since these are on mobile, we don't actually have to read any manuals or anything. Which, uh, by the way, I'm thinking... <laughs> I know everybody loves it when we read the Sonic manuals. I, I think probably after Shadow the Hedgehog. Whenever we hit Sonic 06, I think we're going to probably stop reading the manuals. Because the whole reason we started reading the manuals was... Because it was how you would get the, the story for each game, but now that we're getting to the 3D era, they can tell their stories a little better. So, reading the manuals kind of just seems like a waste of time, doesn't it? There are some cool little tidbits in there, but 
I know once we hit Sonic 06, it's probably not going to be worth it, so... We'll... we'll fucking see. We'll fucking see. But, uh, for now... Let's see what we can, uh, get playing here. Oh boy, don't, don't, don't say oh boy. You, you have no idea what we're getting into today. So... Shukoda! Oh, man. Thanks for the sub, Kami. Unfortunately, it's probably one of the worst streams we're going to do here, but we'll fucking see. So, to get this to work, I had to get a whole goddamn emulator, which we've done before. This was a whole problem to get. We're using the the KEM. Well, I guess it's just the K emulator. The Kemulator. Ugh. Because we need to run some Java files, which, uh, as you can imagine, isn't uh, isn't easy these days. For some reason, it's not showing the whole thing. Uh, reset. There we go. Mobile game emulator. I think you definitely nailed it on the head when we played those uh, Sega Pico games. Is somebody... Somebody played these games as a kid, enjoyed them, and thought, hey, I want to revisit these games as an adult, but there's no possible way to do it. So they make an emulator for nobody, for themselves. Because I don't know who's going out of their way to play fucking Nokia games or Samsung games or flip phone games. But here we are. So let's see, what do we got here? I'm not going to be doing this in any particular order. We're just going to be grabbing whatever. Uh, our first game here is apparently called Sonic 2 Crash. Or no, you know what? Let's go off this list. Uh, the first game will be Sonic Tennis. Which, uh, let's see, is there any sort of backstory to this? Sonic Tennis... Apparently when we look up Sonic Tennis, it doesn't show up because it's clearly showing, uh, there we go. Uh, this is not a promising image. <laughs> All right, so uh, Sonic Tennis is a mobile phone game released as part of the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. The original game was later replaced with a graphically enhanced version for newer phone models. This version also being available in the United States and Europe through the Sega Mobile Service and in Japan through the Puyo Puyo Sega Service. Ugh. All right, well. Let's see if uh, Sonic Tennis works out here. Oh, that's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. All right, uh, Sonic Tennis. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah? 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 yeah. Oh! <laughs> Shit! All right, so clearly this isn't going to be in English, and I don't think there's going to be any audio, so uh, hold on here. Let's see if we can't grab some uh, Sonic Game Gear music to go along with this. Uh, what do we want? Uh, let's just go with that. Great. I'm getting some horrible flashbacks already. Let's turn that way down. Let's turn that way down. All right, so... Do we want Portuguese or Espanol? Yeah, okay, the, it, of course. Early 2000s mobile games didn't have uh, audio most of the time. Most of the time. Uh, you know what? Hold on here. You know what? Hold on here. Uh, 
I know how we can make this perfect. Let's give this the perfect aesthetics. Uh, we're gonna scoot that over there. Scoot that over there. Scoot that right here. Scoot that down here. All right. And let's load this up. Oop. Oop. That's gonna be perfect. It'll be perfect. I'll like cut off the sides. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. It's gonna give us the classic. I'm sitting at the back of the bus playing my, my terrible Sonic mobile game. Because clearly you're sitting at the back of the bus. Because <laughs> you're so cool. Oh, you can make that a bit bigger. Uh, like right there. Is this all worth the extra effort I'm going? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. But sometimes, uh, sometimes you just need a little effort, extra effort. All right. You know what? Let's get a background in here. Could I be buying extra time because I don't know how long the stream is? Maybe. Maybe. Could be adding to this terrible bit, too. Alright. It's reminding me how much I hate these fucking Game Gear games, though. Alright. So we got a nice little background here throw that up there get real big throw that right there it's really gonna feel like we're sitting at the back of the boss with the cool kids playing our sonic game in the early 2000s we just gotta i don't know if i can throw it all the way down here This is a pretty alright song. I'll give it that. It's probably the only good song from uh, these Game Gear Sonic games. blur this image a bit or just delete it completely outright jesus christ what happened apparently it doubled the image size and just deleted it completely all right These images, these goddamn games don't deserve to be viewed in fucking full screen anyway. 
so it's fine. Okay, it's off that center. All right. Well, now to figure out how to play this fucking game. All right, so Sonic Tennis. Anybody want to take a guess on what this is gonna be? Uh, enter. It was a lot louder than I thought. Tennis. Could it just be Mario Tennis? Okay, we're gonna turn this way down. It's uh, it's looking like. It's 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 looking like Ma it's looking like Sonic Tennis, all right. Fix the screen a bit here. It's uh, looking promising. Not really. He yeah. Oh okay. Uh, enter. Yeah. It's, uh... It's tennis! Wait, what was that spin dash? Damn. Damn, son. This is, uh... This is the bare basics you could possibly do for a tennis game. I mean, I know our standards in the early 2000s for phone games was not high. But fucking come on, you're paying $350 a month for these Sonic games? So, our goal at least is going to be to at least finish them, question mark? If there is an ending point for any of these, which I'm going to assume there's not. I don't know what it is, there's a weird fucking freeze. Every time I go to hit the ball, I don't know if the game needs to, to register that I'm hitting the ball. I mean, the, the sprites are... Okay. The sprites are alright. Let's see if we actually... You know, get anything for winning? Gano! Hey! Amy's here too! I assume Knuckles is uh, next. Uh, okay. Her, uh, her tennis apparently. Holy shit! Yeah, no, that's that's about the right music for this. Uh, okay. Well, apparently we're stuck on the left side. What happened there? Uh, am I? Something, something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong here, Sonic, what the fuck? Sometimes, uh, sometimes Sonic just, just decides not to play tennis anymore.
Damn. 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 What a close ass game. Okay, maybe not. Head of the Well, apparently we got what? Ten thousand dollars? I don't know what that means. No. No. I don't think so. So yeah, it was, uh... It was Sonic Tennis. It's about what you expected. It was... It was the most basic te of tennis games possible. Alright, so we got... The next game on this list is called Sonic's Napoleon. Which is one of those Sonic games that is, uh, lost media. But luckily there is some gameplay here. On YouTube. Just steal this footage. I, I, I completely don't know how to play Napoleon. I don't know how popular... Some of these card games are in Japan. Considering I, I see so many of these repeated in a fucking... Is this how it's gonna be? Is this how it's gonna be? It's fine. I'll figure it out. This is reminding me of how terrible Sonic 2 is now. Is it worth it for this bit? Definitely not. But here we are. This terrible, terrible bit. Alright, who wants to take a guess as to whether or not there's going to be actual music in this? We'll turn that off. Alright, so Sonic Napoleon! I don't know how to play Napoleon, so this might be an issue. And it's only in Japanese. I do like the image of Sonic with the with the, the hat. I think that might be the only interesting thing in this entire game, unfortunately. Yep. These these are rules I am understanding. Does anybody actually play Napoleon anymore? Oh boy, there is a solid two to three minutes of just instruction reading. Wow, they're stealing my manual bit! I can't believe it! Let's skip the three to four minutes in here when they actually get the gameplay. Reading the manual, how dare they. How dare they? Who does that? So Napoleon seems like it might be a, a kind of a complicated game if uh, it takes this much reading. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to straight up assume that half of these games are just normal games, but with a Sonic. Just kind of slapped in there. Here we are four minutes in. There we go. Eggman and Tails and Knuckles and an Amy are all here to play Napoleon. As they do. All right, so let's see if we can try to understand what this game is. I, I think I think that's enough cards.
Is it... Is it just go fish? Hold on. Napoleon... Napoleon card game. He's back to reading the goddamn thing. Napoleon or Nap is a straightforward trick-taking game in which players receive five cards each. Definitely more than five cards. And whoever bids the highest number of tricks chooses trumps and tries to win at least that number of tricks. It is often described as a simplified version of Euchre. Although David Parlay believes it is more like an ala- Frickin' See what the Sonic Wiki has to say about this. Sonic's Napoleon is a mobile phone game released as part of the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. It was later made available in the Puyo Puyo Sega service. In Sonic's Napoleon, the player controls Sonic the Hedgehog as he plays the Japanese card game Napoleon. Oh god, it's Go Fish. Is it Go Fish? Uh, this should not be confused with the French British card game of the same name, as they are completely different. That's a good sign! The game is played with a 53 card deck, includes one joker, with the points cards being the ace, king, queen, jack, and ten of each of the four suits. This means that there are 20 point cards total. Each card also has a different strength value, with the ace being the strongest standard card and the two being the weakest. There are also a variety of special cards which outweigh the standard ones. The goal of the game is to gain the most points over five rounds. Is, is, did this guy just give up? I think this guy literally just... He recorded three more minutes of himself doing the exact same thing. Which, to be fair, I would probably have done the exact same thing. Uh, the goal of the game is to gain the most points over five rounds of play. At the start of each round, a Napoleon is declared by whose hand of cards has the most points in that round. And the other players are then all playing against that one player. As such, alliances can be forged and broken amongst the non-Napoleon players, known as the Coalition Forces, to help limit the Napoleon's points. The player with the most points at the end of the five rounds wins. Neat. All right, well, that was Sonic Napoleon, I guess. I also realized that we're kind of just cutting Amy's face off there. Yeah, they, they, they absolutely just fucking gave up. They absolutely just gave up. They're like, oh, fuck this. It's not worth it. All right. Well, let's uh, move on to the next game, I guess. So the next game we got here is Sonic Golf, which we we actually we do have. So let's load this up. Hopefully it works. I'm going to take just a guess here and assume that is going to be a top down mini golf game because i'm not entirely sure how a sonic golf game would work sonic the hedgehog golf that's a good sign it's in english i i actually don't know if that's good or not why is it so fucking cropped weird what the fuck What the fuck? Oh, you know what? Hold on here. English. Enable audio, yes. I think this was made for one of those widescreen phones. You know, like a Bluetooth. Or not a Bluetooth, a fucking... I can't even remember the name. Fuck were they? You, you held them sideways. They had a whole keyboard. Blackberry. That's what it was. I don't know why that was so hard. 
Which, you know, completely destroys the whole bit we had here, but whatever. Sonic the Hedgehog Golf. Frolf. What you're seeing is, uh, way bigger than what I'm seeing. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh. Oh. They tried real hard with that one. Do we keep vibrations on? I, I guess. How do I get out? How do I, how do I leave? Shit. All right, hold on. I need to pull out the keypad. Uh, back. All right, uh. Let's play some Sonic Golf, baby. Are you sure? I. No. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to play some Sonic Golf. We got main game, single course, single hole. One, two, three, number of players, one. We got Sonic. We got Tails. We we have Knuckles. What the fuck render of Knuckles is that? It looks familiar. Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles? It's not Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles, right? He has the, the sunglasses. Yeah, the glasses from... Something. Why is he the only one with the glasses? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Sonic, Knuckles, DJ. There's a render of Knuckles where he's DJing. DJ. DJ. There's one of Sonic 2. Or maybe he's rocking. Rocking around the clock. Hold on, I need to find this fucking render. Why would they pick this render of Knuckles, Nucleus? Also, I like that I'm able to just type in Knuckles. Sonic Golf. Watch out, Mario. Now I'm wondering why a lot of these uh, concepts didn't take off. It has to be in here somewhere. It's nice that I can just type in Knuckles and the first thing that shows up is Knuckles the Echidna. Where the fuck is this? Hold on. Knuckles with... Sunglasses. The competition, now. Huh? For the, the day it was released. It, where the fuck is this render from? I have seen this render! It exists! Is it not from, like, the DS or the Advanced games? So, hold on. Uh, let me type in Sonic Golf. What was this? Never lose. Thanks for the follow, Nepstorm. Nepstorm. Is this from that racing game? No, it's not. How, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Hold on. It's not from Sonic Riders, is it? Sonic Riders. Knuckles. Nucleus. No, because Sonic, Sonic... Knuckles and Sonic Riders has goggles. What's going on here? When did Sonic Golf come out? Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf 3D, that's not the same thing. Cafe Golf. Jesus Christ. Same, same thing as that. It's not. It's it's not. Uh, this came out in 2002. So, Sonic Advanced came out, I guess. Sonic Advance Knuckles. Where the fuck is this render of Knuckles from? Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles, maybe. It's from Shuffle? I don't, I don't 
think so. No, because there's no actual 2D artwork of Knuckles in Sonic Shuffle. There's only 3D. Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles. Because th those look like his... Well, I guess they don't. I guess those don't look like the sunglasses from Sonic Adventure 2, do they? Alright, hold on. Official... It looks like it's from the advanced games. Official Knuckles... The Echidna art. It's driving me nuts. I've seen this art before. I can't exactly pinpoint where. You know what? Hold on. It was from Sonic Adventure 2. Wasn't there Sonic Battle on the GPA? Uh, I, I feel like that was 2004, wasn't it? When did Sonic Battle come on? Because we don't have to worry about doing Sonic Battle in the marathon for a few years. Well, a few months at least. A few years. Uh, Sonic Battle was 2004. Plus, it had its own unique art style, so... It, it's it's just... It's crazy to me that... This image of Knuckles is not... In the gallery of Knuckles the Echidna official art. Stock art? 2D, maybe? Classic? Modern? I... Miscellaneous? How could I not fucking find this? Like, this is clearly not made specifically for Sonic Golf. Sprites, models, screenshots, wallpapers, I guess? I fucking found it! Alright! I found you, faker! All right, let me grab this goddamn image. I don't care if I spelled that wrong. All right, so this art is from a one of the special wallpapers that they gave out for Sonic Adventure. This one, right here. This very specific image of, of Knuckles from Sonic Adventure that they gave out. I don't know why they chose this one. I don't know why I fucking recognized it. Thanks, I hate it. Oh, but look how cool he is. I don't know why they chose this specific image of Knuckles. Considering Tails is his normal stock image and Sonic is his Sonic Advance image? It's it's weird. Anyway, all this build up All this build up for Sonic Golf is it worth is it even worth it? Novice. sure taking its time.
What the fuck? Oh! Oh! What is this? Oh! This, this! This might be one of the worst remixes of Green Hill I've heard. Uh, okay. This, th uh, this is not what I was expecting. They, they just, they, they took Sonic 1 and, and they turned it into a, a golf game. Wow. Three dollars and fifteen cents a month. Sonic has bird died. Birdied. Sonic has passed. Sonic has bird died. Hold one. Holy shit. This, this is... I, uh... Didn't know what I was expecting. But this was not... This is... Yeah, no, this is... This is by far... The farthest thing I was... I was thinking... I don't like the weird skip it does as soon as it uh, wants to start the song here. Like, up. Oh. This is definitely Sonic and Golf. This is definitely Sonic 1 and Golf. Honestly, this looks like a, a, one of those Sonic Flash games you would find on Newgrounds back in the day. This is this what Sonic does while waiting for Eggman? Uh, this was doing what he was doing in, on uh, South Island. Where I found tails. Just playing some golf. All of a sudden, Eggman showed up. It, it's this this music. All right, it's only the the level layout with golf. I guess. Ugh. Sonic has Ace Hole too. All right. We're gonna get really good at Sonic Golf. I'm gonna get the speed run record. This is what I'm gonna be known for. Is there is there any holes other than Green Hill? Oh man, it it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Honestly, I think the worst part of this might just be the the, the Green Hill song here we're listening to. That's a soundtrack. Damn. Perfect. All those years of uh, playing golf in Yakuza 3 are really paying off. My kid's bird died. It there. It, this can't be the entire thing. I don't know what I'm expecting, but... Clearly, my expectations were, were broken immediately. I was really expecting this to be just over-the-head over the mini-golf, as these things usually are. There is no speedrun for this game, so congrats. Wow, now we just have to beat the game. You win by default. I have to beat the game first! This might be the issue.
And I kind of want to see what knuckles and tails look like. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Also, you say there's no speedrun for this game. Does the game even show up on the website? Nope. <laughs> uh, how, it said, what, there was eight holes? There's eight holes of this? Uh, why? Why Why does it just keep going? Why is the music so bad? What do the rings do? That that's that's too many. It's too many holes. Paying three fifteen a month. You're giving me too many holes. You're giving me too much content, Sega. This is not what I paid for. What did the rings do? They're gonna give me the biggest high score. Score. I'm gonna be able to buy some clubs, buy some customized uh, golf balls. I'm gonna lock Shadow. Classic Shadow. Why? Why? Lock Supersonic. Damn! Oh man, this game's perfect. It has hidden walls. I really wish the ball physics, you know, worked. I buy my Sonic games for the ball physics. Why is it gotta be like this? We have a minus nine. It is- it is ridiculous that we have such a good goddamn score in this. I can't unlock any of the hidden characters in- in Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, but I can get a minus nine in Sonic Golf! They- they could have at least just made the- the- the, the music sound good. It's Green Hill, it's really hard to make Green Hill sound bad. Okay. Oops. Alright, well this is where we lose nine points. Bow guide, bow guide, all seven. You know what? I appreciate that they included the game over music. Is that it? No, more. All eight. It's only game what three of our big list of games we got to go through. Never not gonna hurt my ears. So, Green Hill, I guess, makes sense for golf. Kind of. I'm not entirely sure, you know, Marble Zone, Spring. Yard zone. Any of those would really work for golf, so I, I feel like it's just gonna be green hill. 
Oh, Eggman's here! Hey! Baldy McNosehair's here. Get a golf ball in his brain. Oh. Uh... Okay. Oh, wait, that's a fake wall. You see, it's good game design that clearly you can look at the fake wall and tell that it's a fake wall. This is where my 315 is going. My 315 yen. You know, maybe we should have just started Sonic Adventure 2 today. Hindsight, man. Alright, so... Uh, do I want to hit him? Boop! Oh, he's an obstacle! Sure, whatever. He's a dick. Par was six. Sonic passed Green Hill. Which implies that there's more than just Green Hill. Does it not? Marble course unlocked? No. Don't you fucking... Don't make me listen to goddamn... Sonic Golf version of Marble Zone. That's one of the better songs. Okay. <laughs> it started off strong! And it immediately shit the bed. You know what? It's kind of alright. I can't believe Marble Zone is in here. Maybe my expectations are too high. You know what? The song's the song's winning me back. My fave. It's just making me look forward to Sonic Genesis on the Game Boy Advance. Six, seven months from now. No, I'll take it. Oh, wait, do I have to actually get a good score? To unlock the next course? You know, if... They actually have all the Sonic 1 stages in this game, in this mobile golf game. I will give them that much credit. They did it, somehow. They really shouldn't have, but they did it. Which means mid-eyes probably exist of, of uh, each of these songs. They did actually make full sprites for Sonic and his golf club. Am I saying it's hard? Some things should stay lost media. There are some things on this list that I wish was not lost media. Because I, I need to know what they would have played like. He's like having a real hard time.
That's really weird that they stopped making good Mario Golf games after this came out, huh? I see what happened. They knew their time was up. I don't know, I never played that Mario Golf on the Switch. I assume it's not good because nobody talked about it. It was all downhill after Toadstool Tour, honestly. The song would be okay if it didn't just suddenly decide to pause right as it was about to drop. Oh my god, we have to go up. The one time I wanted to hit the goddamn sand trap. See, we got power shots, it's perfect. So I want to at least unlock one more stage before we move on. I, I need to know. Do we get Spring Yard Zone? Better yet, if they do have all the stages from Sonic 1, does that mean we get Stardust? It's not that Sony Ericsson game. Too many shots. They they wish. They wish. Oh, is that just game over? Oh, they're gonna make me do the whole goddamn hole again. Okay. I I need to I need to know if Stardust is in here. Stardust Speedway. I think those, that's what it was called. When did we play that? Like, four or five months ago? I, I need to hear the mini version. So is anybody actually keeping track of how many shots I was allowed? I sure as hell wasn't. Well, I better win. Well, fucking everybody's showing up for this, huh? Everybody's showing up for the, the literal bottom of the Sonic Barrel, huh? We played through the Game Gear games and everybody's showing up for goddamn Sonic Golf. We're still minus six somehow. Why does it pause? It'd be fine if it didn't pause. But Sonic Golf is my favorite Sonic game. Yeah, yeah, n n name, name six Sonic Golf courses. Then talk to me. Let me find out who the real Sonic Golf fan is here. Green Hill Zone 1. Oh man. Green Hill Zone 2. Alright, you know what, man? You, you you proved me wrong. You know, so, you know, it ain't worth it. I lied. Yeah, you really had me going there. 
So we had a Sonic Golf expert in the chat, and now the music is freaking out. It's going nuts. So Frontier's got a new update. I've I've heard everybody complaining about update three. Literally nobody talking about the new remix of I'm Here. Everybody complaining about how goddamn hard the tower is. Which, hey, everybody was complaining about how easy Sonic Frontiers was. Well, Sega listened. This is what you wanted, right? This is the promise they made to you. Eh, better than too easy before. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if the ending has actually changed. Again, we're, we're not going to be touching that game until... We're not going to be touching any of the updates. Until we cover it in this marathon. So, like a year and a half from now? Is this 10 frames? I'm so used to 60. This is Steve Zesser. You think a goddamn 2001 flip phone could do anything higher than, than 5 frames? I have literally seen Sonic Flash games on Newground run better than this. Do at least the main game on Extreme mode, by the way. Uh, so... We did get the true ending when we played Frontiers, because we had to play on hard mode. It didn't seem that bad. Honestly, once we maxed out our level and our speed and our attack and our defense and everything, the game just kind of became nothing. Does Extreme Mode actually do anything? Does it change anything or do you just die instantly? Uh, uh. The fuck was that? What are the point of the TVs if they don't break? God! Hold on, what what's over here? What's over here? Camera, please. Nothing. Despite the fact that that looks like you can go in there, it changes cyberspace size. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. What was that one that we all had trouble on? One, six, two, six? It's actually fun to grind S ranks, and you actually have to work at more than just one, two. <laughs> you had a hard enough time with that. Can't imagine doing it on hard. Yeah. We're, we're perfect. Get the perfect rhythm. We found the game's rhythm. Just at the same time. Okay, well. But they, they already knew that it was hard enough. Even a boss here? No, he's an obstacle. I assume same with Green Hill Zone 3, 4, 8, whatever. It is better. Just hold my butt, can I? Uh, give me a week and I can make a better Sonic Golf game. <sighs> I find it funny to try and save time. Cyberspace is kind of boring before. I mean, that's just the cyberspace in general. I really think they should have gone the extra mile and just made the callback courses actually look and sound like the callback course instead of just throwing the Green Hill template over them. Oh my god. Like, hey, Metal Harbor! It would be great if I was listening to Metal Harbor. And it was- oh my god. And it was just Metal Harbor. Not Sonic Generations Metal Harbor. Uh, 
damage shots. We have passed Marble Zone. Is Spring Yard in here? I can't imagine. No. Spring Yard course unlocked. Holy shit. It is dying, and I don't know, they didn't expect anybody to get this far. The first part of the song was really bad, and then it started winning me over, and then it, 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 it can't even handle it. Also have power boost in the cyberspace, fixes most, it's not too slow problem. I, apparently you can also just fix the momentum slash acceleration problem that people had with the original Sonic Frontiers. You just turn something off. Also, what is with the skew here? Yeah, I don't know why there's not a goddamn border on the left. It's bugging me too. Let's just for open world. I uh, that's dumb. Why is it dying? Why is it dying? Well, you know what? I will give this game props for fucking three dollars. It's definitely the game. Uh, that is a hundred percent the game. For three dollars! This is a lot more fucking content than I assumed we would possibly ever get. Uh, let's see, does Tails play any different? There's Tails. He's weaker than Sonic. Doesn't mean anything. Too good at the video game. Except the thing is Sonic, so the game is clearly... Garbage. In the dumpster. Alright, let's see. Is Knuckles any different? Is it just Knuckles from Sonic 3 Knuckles? I, I think it might actually just be these three courses, because Marble and Spring are locked. So... Sure. Sure. I do also like that that is clearly just... an image of Sonic Adventure Sonic, but they, they put a golf club in his hand. Okay, he is he is stronger than Tails and Sonic. Okay. Of course, has Burr died. Got it. Anyway, so that was uh, that was Sonic Golf. You know what? Considering my expectations are are literally zero, I think Nux would just send it. The game couldn't handle it. The game would literally crash if that was the case. 
considering my expectations were literally zero, that was, that was, I don't want to say okay, it's, it's just below okay. The game ran like garbage. It looked like garbage. It, I don't want to say it sounded like garbage. Some of those songs were all right. Some of them were really not, but. Who said that Spring Yard Zone wasn't in there? They're not uh, Spring Yard Stardust. All right, so that was Sonic Golf. Apparently Sonic Speed, which is just a card game, is completely lost forever. Is there any description for it? Uh, there is not. Cool. This is Fortnite prototype. I mean, this is the, this is the perfect situation where you would pull out your flip phone. Oh, hold on. Where you would pull out your flip phone and be playing some mad 2000 Sonic flip phone games. All right, Sonic Fishing. We actually have this one, unfortunately. Anybody want to take a guess whether or not it's going to be good or not? All right. Sonic Fishing is a mobile phone game released as part of the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. The only elements from the Sonic the Hedgehog series present in the game are the lures. It's a good sign already. A, graphical a graphically enhanced version was later released in the United States and Europe as part of the Sega mobile service. Uh... In this game, the player simply attempts to catch the biggest fish. There are three stages present, with each accessed by meeting a points requirement of the previous. A time limit is present in the top left corner of the screen, though each fish caught provides extra seconds of play. Once this timer runs out, the stage is over. Depending on the real world's time of day, the fish available in the game will vary, along with the color of the background. All right. The only difference between the original and updated versions of the game other than graphical overhaul is that the text has changed to English. Great. All right, well. Let's load this up. Hopefully it works. So far we're, uh, what, two for two out of these games that actually work? Which is good. Good question mark. All right. Just gotta morph this around. Doesn't sound like there's any music though. That is unfortunate. Let's see, perfect. 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 Just how I remember it. This game I've never played. Sitting in the back of the bus because I'm the cool kid. Fishing era in the 90s. It's fucking Sega Bass Fishing. Don't you talk shit about that. Can't fix any of that, so we'll just move that up. And if there's no music, I'm going to have to get the Game Gear music out, and we don't want that. All right. We need big one, zero points total. I'm, I'm pushing buttons. All right, I'm going to get the keypad out. Keypad. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so none of the numbers work. Add. Left key. 5,000 points. So we got a sonic lure. And there is sound. We got tails lure. 
that supposed to be Eggman? I guess we'll pick this one. Or we won't. I lied. None of the buttons are working again. Uh... Paused. The, the fuck? Alright, so the X button clearly does something here. That is a save state, which I do not think we need for... Uh, well, I guess I'll pull the goddamn key pad out forever. Alright. Ooh. Hey! I have 15 seconds to catch a fish. You know what? I appreciate the Sonic Adventure. I actually, you know what? I don't appreciate anything. We cut a normal one. Plus five seconds. I appreciate the Sonic Adventure sounds in the music. Time's up. We lose. Great. But honestly, that's kind of what you would expect. The fact that you don't see big anywhere is kind of a problem. Okay, the left. Trying game. Really trying. You you really had me with Sonic Golf. You're you're really you're really pulling it back. I think this fish may be dead. Or it's trash. I'm not pushing none of that. You think I can push more than one button at the same time on here? A normal one. Great. Time's up. Time's up. Right, we'll try one more time. Despite the fact that I know it's a bad idea. And the buttons rarely work. Let's try the tails one. Small one. Neat. Oh, we can go left and right. Perfect. It actually makes it a tad bit easier. So me just sitting there waiting for a fish to come by. A small one. Okay. Froggy will show up anywhere. Is the only Sonic cameo in the game? Normal one. Well, we we definitely hit our quota. Huh? 
Just me sitting at the back of the bus blaring this, uh, terrible Sonic Adventure MIDI. Out to the rest of the kids who clearly think I'm cool. Sonic, you, you gotta be cool. Clear. Yeah, stage two. I, 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 I don't think so. Goodbye. I don't think so. Goodbye. All right. So that was Sonic fishing. It was. Again, I don't know what I'm expecting out of any of these, but we are getting exactly what's in the title. That was fishing. Though I guess we didn't really get any Sonic out of that other than the music, huh? Alright, so Sonic Billiards is one that's been lost. It's going to take forever. Boy, will it. Sonic Billiards. We don't have an actual game for it, but we do have... Uh, where is it? We do have gameplay! Hopefully it's better than Sonic Napoleon. It fucking better be if it's goddamn Sonic Pool. Is there any music? Apparently Shadow's in here too, so that's a spoiler. There is music. Ooh. We get uh, a, re a terrible remix of the casino stage from Sonic Adventure. Casinopolis. Sonic Billiards is a mobile phone game released as part of the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. The game was re-released with updated graphics and a new user interface. Yeah? really see that in Sonic Billiards the player plays as Sonic in a nine ball game of <laughs> nine ball nine balls huh how long is this 20 minutes oh we're gonna be here for a while uh, except they already lost Jesus Christ The game is two-mode, single-player, and versus mode. The player chooses the direction to shoot in after confirming a power gauge appears on the right side of the screen. The green bar rises and falls to signify the power behind the shot. The option to put spin on the ball is also given after confirming the direction displayed on the ball above the power gauge. The winner is whoever sinks the final ball. Yeah. That's, uh... The game. Guess what? It's Sonic Billiards! For better or for worse! I'm gonna skip fucking 12 minutes in. Hey, look! It's, it's still Sonic Billiards. The physics don't even look that great. Remix is alright, though. They chose the right song for this. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You know what? No thanks. We're done. All right. You know, I think we need a, a change of scenery. Where else do you think you would be playing on your 2001 flip phone? I can think of one. Uh, that's a good one right there.
you know, you're sitting there, you're watching I Am Dave, watching Pluto Nash in the movie theater, and you're like, you know what? This sucks. I'm going to play Sonic on my phone. Full volume. And you know what? Everybody in the theater, they thanked you. They're like, damn, that guy's cool. Just like Sonic. Uh, yeah, right there is fine. All right, so what do we got in the next here? We got Sonic Billiards. We got Nakosh Nakayoshi Chow, which was a Chow virtual pet. Completely lost the time. Unfortunately, not even a video, which... There you go. Sega released a, a goddamn Chow virtual pet, and uh, it's gone forever. The thing everybody wanted. Uh, Sonic Bowling also lost the time. Can you imagine what that one is? Uh, Eggman no Kazu 8 Picnic. Defusing bombs by solving clues set by Eggman. Also lost the time. Sonic's Minesweeper, which... Do you want to take a guess what that is? Also lost the time. Sonic Racing Shift Up. Not a traditional kart racer. You just have to shift gears at the right times. Also lost the time. Sonic Putter. It's gone. Sonic Dash Quiz. We have gameplay for that one, so give me a sec here. Uh... Boop. Alright, so Sonic Dash Quiz. What are we looking at here? It uh, is that Sonic Advance? That is what? <laughs> All right, so we have Sonic from Sonic Advance. We have Tails from Sonic Battle. We have Knuckles from Sonic Battle. We have Shadow from Sonic Battle. Why did they take the goddamn Sonic spray from Sonic Advance? I understand. So what is this? Is it a quiz game? Uh, three. The answer's three. Probably. Probably not. So, yeah. It's a platformer where you have to get the right answer. Look at the wiki here. Sonic's Dash Quiz. Sonic Dash Quiz is a mobile quiz game released as part of the Puyo Puyo Sega service offered by Sega. So this isn't Sonic Cafe, we we're already cheating. It's a fast-paced quiz game where Sonic competes against Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow in answering multiple choice questions. Uh, gameplay. In Sonic Dash Quiz, the player controls Sonic the Hedgehog and must compete against Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow in various quizzes. The dash element of the game is that once the player has decided which the correct answer to a given multiple choice question is, they must then run to the colored ring that matches the answer to the question on screen. Dodging attacks from the other players and dealing some themselves if an opponent gets in the way. The player with the most correct ring grabs at the end of the game wins. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Probably be more interesting if I could see what the actual. Hold on here. I can see what the actual questions are.
In a second, I'll use Google Translate to figure out what this goddamn says. All right. Let's see. Here's my, my phone here. Shit, my shoulders are really goddamn stiff today. Japanese. All right. Which of these animals is not included in the Japanese zodiac? One, snake. Two, goat. Three, rats. Four, rabbits. It's two, right? So they're not even Sonic questions. They're they're just fucking regular whatever questions. That's boring. All right, well, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was Sonic Dash Quiz. Uh, Sonic Darts. Found, except the ROM is basically broken. Is it? Is it? How bad could it possibly be? My expectations for Sonic Darts isn't high. Hey, guess what? It's it's Sonic, but darts. That's a cool coin, though. Initiative, Chateau! It's, uh... Oh, God, they give him the shaky hand, too. Fucking Persona! Fucking Yakuza! How many times in my life do I have to play goddamn darts through a, through a Sega game? Why are they so bad at this? Oh, well, hey, guess what? It's it's just darts, but with a Sonic skin, which I imagine most of these were actually going to be. Like the ROM's working though. Yeah. Alright, well, that was. That was. That was Sonic Darts. Good. Uh, Sonic Racing Kart. Which, apparently, we have. Alright. Finally. Some actual content. Maybe. We're three for three on these, uh, working. Sonic Racing Kart. Why, why? Why does it have to be so weirdly shaped? It seems to be in English. Or maybe it's not. What the fuck language is this? Russian? Uh. Yet. Ah. Uh, yet. Uh Okay, well maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't work. In fact, the emulator has crashed. It is not responding. <laughs> ha Alright, well I guess we won't be playing that. Is there at least a fucking video of it somewhere? What are we missing here? Why was this game so good that it crashed my goddamn emulator? Uh, 
Uh, Sonic Racing full playthrough, 13 minutes. It's not the, it doesn't look the same, but apparently it's just the fixed version. The upgraded version, as Sega likes to do. Do I, do I even want to fix it? Yeah, I guess I kind of have to, don't I? That shit over there. Yeah, good enough. All right, so what are we missing here? Not a lot, apparently. Just make this bigger. Get the whole experience. There we go. Now just sitting on this title screen, huh? Okay. Yeah! So... That's it, huh? I can't believe we missed this. This is Sonic Racing and a cart. They didn't lie to us. I really wish the fucking music would decide whether or not it was going to start or not. It always sounds like it's going to... Oh, I'll never fucking mind then. This is not even that bad. So you get a practice lap, I guess. Oh, no, oops. This is the whole game, huh? You don't actually race anybody, you're just racing yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking six, seven minutes in, and he's still just racing himself. Is the whole game. So you know what? Maybe, maybe we dodged a bullet. Big meaty bullet. All right. Well, that was Sonic Racing Kart. Clearly, we didn't actually miss anything. Uh, Sonic Rev Reversey. Another one of those games that I don't know how to fucking play. With those Japanese board games slash card. Well, I guess this would be a board game. I don't fucking understand. See all the time in anime. I'm too lazy to figure out. That's me. But maybe, just maybe, the power of watching this. I'll be able to figure it out on my own. I doubt it. If there's anybody that can teach me how to play Japanese board games, it's Sonic. Apparently the emulator doesn't fucking work on this guy either. This isn't a song I recognize either. Sonic Reversi or Sonic Ribashi 
is a mobile phone game released as part of the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. It was later made available through the Puyo Puyo Sega service as well. This game later received a sequel titled Sonic Reversi Hyper. Sonic Reversi, the standard board game format of Reversi is played as Sonic against other characters. A practice match against a Chow is also available. Nucleus. Player plays for and can lose rings, as well as national rankings via a high score server. In the main game, official match can be played up to three times a day as it requires rings to okay, so it's it's one of those. You get rings by playing the game, but uh, it costs rings to play the game. Three rings to provide it each day with them collecting until the player has 15. The opponent is decided via a roulette with each character featuring a different prize pool. Knuckles equals 6,000. Shadow equals 10,000. Also, each opponent is set at a different difficulty. Neat. So you only get so many plays a day. Honestly, it sounds like it's going to start playing Emerald Coast, but then it switches off into something else. Something else much less interesting. enough of this one already too it's just reversey i get it uh tails no flying get a port of sonic battle minigame involving tails lost the time forever sonic hopping which apparently we have apparently The emulator wants to launch. Man, Sonic Racing Kart really fucked it up. Really fucked it up. It refuses to open now. It's a good sign. All right, so Sonic hopping. Apparently it doesn't work. What were we missing here? Is there any? Gameplay. Sonic Hopping. From 14 years ago. Alright. The music ain't bad. Though it just sounds like it's from Sonic the Fighters. It really does. So it's, uh, it's Sonic on a pogo stick. His goal is to just hit all the buttons. Uh, Sonic Hopping! Sonic Hopping is a mobile phone game released in 2004 on the Sonic Cafe service offered by Sega. It was later made available through the Puyo Puyo Sega service as well. 
An updated English version of the game was also released, though it is unknown exactly when and through what distribution service it was sold. The player plays as Sonic and has to collect all the rings on the field. Sonic only moved from any given space to five possible spaces. Two to his left, two to his right, two to his front, and one directly behind. Additionally, one black space on the field is a hole in the ground that Sonic cannot stand on. Points are awarded by how fast the field was completed and how many steps Sonic took, the fewer the better. A total of 30 stages are present in this. That's, that's too many. 30 stages of this? Are you kidding me? That's too many! Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Sonic copping, all right. Anyway. Really shame that didn't work on our thing. It's still just sitting there. All right, Sonic copping 2, the first one was found, but this one gone. Gone forever. Uh, Sonic Hearts. Let me guess, it's, uh... Just going to be a card game, isn't it? Uh, why? It's just a fucking card game. Those what, what is with Japan's fucking obsession with card games? And why, out of how many of these goddamn Sonic Cafe games, did they decide, we'll just take that card game and slap Sonic on it? People will buy it. Uh... So basically what you're doing is you're throwing out a card, and if it's the highest card thrown out, you get the cards? And it has voice acting? Green of spade. Kind of? Queen of spade. Or maybe it doesn't. Sonic Heart. 80% of these games are just going to be card games, huh? Alright, Sonic Advance, port of the GBA title. Well, I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. This is actually going to work. I don't even know if we even want to play this. We're going to be actually playing Sonic Advance at some point. Do the actual good version. I don't even know if this is working. What the fuck am I looking at? Yes. Yes. Keypad. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, let's reset. Pull this goddamn keypad out. All right. Show me Sonic Advance. Yes! 
All right. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to play Sonic Advance, which is fine because we're we're gonna play the actual Sonic Advance at some point after October. After Sonic, I literally think it's after Sonic Adventure Two that we'll be playing Sonic Advance. So it's not that far off. Uh, Sonic Panel Puzzle. You wanna you wanna take a guess what it is? And weirdly enough, they are using Sonic Battle art. Cause that is Tales from Sonic Battle. So it's uh and there's Knuckles from Sonic Battle. So hold on here. So every time you explode a tile, all the tiles vertically and horizontally change. Which... Fucking, I'm not entirely sure how I would even figure this out. It's not something I would be playing because my brain is usually mush. What are they stuck on this knuckles puzzle for? Oh, they're they're stuck on this knuckles puzzle for the rest of the the video, and I don't even know if they finish it or not. They just give up eventually. Which I don't blame them. Yeah, and the, you can literally see the point where it's like, ah, oh, fuck this! Yeah. I think we need another change of scenery here. Uh, what else we got here? You know what? Yeah, let's try this one. I don't know if this is gonna make Twitch go. What's what's going on? going on what are you what are you doing seems like the perfect spot where you would be uh playing your sonic mobile game your sonic uh phone game sums up uh most of these sonic games doesn't it all right uh what do we got next sonic gammon gammon and guess what? It's, it's fucking gammon. Just with a picture of Sonic thrown into the side. It's one of these games that I've seen played in real life, but I've never fucking understood how to play it. Dabbles. Apples. This is an old person game. Kit. This is the kind of game they were expecting you to play on your phone while you were sitting on the toilet or on a bus or in a movie theater or in a library. Or fucking in class. No, oh, thank you. All right, uh, Sonic Millionaires. Is it a goddamn card game? I'm gonna assume it's a fucking card game. With Sonic Advance art, because of course. Uh, 
It's a fucking card game! They called it the uh, Sonic, or the Sega Cafe, the Sonic Cafe. They really should have just called it the Sonic Casino. Is it just... Is it just Texas Hold'em? What's going on here? about the two hour mark which is a lot longer than i thought we would actually spend on this stream so we're gonna start flying through these because my headphones aren't gonna last much longer uh sonic jump i didn't know this was a hold on i didn't even know this was a goddamn sonic cafe thing does it work sonic jump Does it work? No, the emulator has crashed. All right. What was Sonic Jump? So jump. It's just the normal jump on the line. Uh, the player must guide Sonic up through the levels while primarily controlling his left and right movements. Whenever Sonic lands on a plot, okay, so it's jump. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, Amy's American, page one. Let me guess. Let me take a wild guess. It's a fucking card game! Everywhere I go! Except this one's just filled with the ladies! Amy Rouge Cream and... Cho. Not even to call. You brought to call back from the dead just to play this goddamn card game? You're a monster. Getting real sick of these card games already. All right, Sonic Kart 3DX. What? Clearly, we do not have this one because it's in 3D. This had to be on one of those fancy phones back in the day. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh... Well, I've got some bad news. It's just... It's just a 3D version of Sonic Kart... Sonic Racing Kart. The 3D was probably mind-blowing back in the day, but in practice... In execution, it's, uh, nothing. Though this camera angle's a lot better than the last one we had. A lot more interesting if there's other racers. Anything? Music's pretty nothing. Honestly, if you look at it like this, it kind of just looks like Sonic Drift, but they, they made it 3D. Which 
might even be just what it is. Alright, well that was... Alright, I guess. Uh, Sonic... You know what, we're gonna save that one for last. Shadow Shoot, port of the promotional Flash game titled Shadow the Hedgehog. I... I don't think this one's gonna work. But we'll see. Shadow shoot. Enable sounds, or maybe it will. Maybe it will. Or maybe it won't. Oh, you know what? This is one of those widescreen games, much like Sonic Golf. Where the, the, the flip phone itself could not hold in the entirety of the game. Yes. Alright. What do we got here? What are you giving me? Shadow Shoot! Again, spoilers, because we haven't actually hit Sonic Adventure 2 yet. Diamond Highway. That is Sonic Battle Shadow. That is Sonic Advance Eggman. He kind of just shot Shadow with a missile. Okay, I see what this is. Oh, he's got a gun! This is Shadow the Hedgehog spoilers! Alright, well this is something. And again, it's a, a port of a Flash game that was to promote Shadow the Hedgehog. So... I don't know what I was expecting. It is just the exact epitome of what Flash games were. Well, most of them were. There were some good ones out there. Angora Girls. Son the Pervert. Classics. I didn't even really do anything other than mashing the shoot button. It is wild that out of all the the Sonic games, we only ever had one 2D shadow, I guess. Which was in Sonic Battle, because clearly that's the same sprite we're seeing all the time. Uh-huh. I'm starting to even wonder if this is original music. It's, it's, okay. Uh, it's the same song. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, yeah, it was alright. What else we got here? We got Sonic 3D Golf! Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Had an extra dimension to it? My expectations are high. It's oh come. It's much less interesting. It's just a boring golf course.
in. And it's it's just a 3D golf game, but with Sonic, huh? So it's much less interesting. Not even like Sonic remixes. These games need to get it into their heads that hey, you know what's you know what has good music, Sonic. So just remix their shit. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog two crash and dash. All right, we have this. Hopefully it works. I guess first we'll try Sonic two crash. Uh, okay, I guess crash does not work. What about uh, Sonic two dash? Well, apparently that one works. Neat. Let's try to fit that in there. Go. All right, so what are we getting ourselves into here? The, no, the cropping is really weird. It's all lower. Sonic 2. You know what? Honestly, that's been... Probably the best part about playing these games is I get to hear that same jingle, but done worse every single time. Uh, we have a stage select. Emerald Hill, Casino Knights, Hilltop. Okay, so these are Sonic 2 stages. I guess that makes sense. Sonic 2 dash... Uh, uh, it, is this just Sonic 2? The music isn't bad. Well, aside from the beginning part, but... but again, it just feels like a shitty goddamn Flash game. You find a new grounds or albino black sheep. The momentum's all fucked up though. If for some reason the slope doesn't work at all. The jump feels weird. Uh there, there's no collision here for some reason. Hold on, can I spin dash? Kind of. It starts out really fast, but then it just got out, and then it just kind of stops. And the fucking speed boost really fucking goes. Can we can we look down please? Can we can we can we look down please? There we go. Yeah, this is uh this is just Sonic 2. This is just the worst Sonic 2. Oh god, I'm stuck. Three fifteen a month for this. If 
which are spin dashing. There we go. For, for some reason, the j the action button? I don't know what you would call this. Keeps getting stuck. Sonic is pat- okay. See what uh, Casinopolo sounds like. I'm half expecting it to just be the Emerald Hill music still. Okay. They're trying, but they, they are not pulling it off. No, no, this is, this, this does, this does not feel good. just felt like somebody tried to uh, remake Sonic 2 in Flash and it didn't feel good. It's just probably the worst crime you could do to Sonic 2. Uh, Sonic Sonic 7 Narabe You know what I gotta say? At least it looks like this is unique art. I'll give them that. Please don't be a card game. Please don't be a fucking card game. <sighs> this one has actual gambling in it. There's money on the line here. What the fuck? Hold on. I got no idea on this one. Well, that's 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 Sonic Advance Sonic. Uh, seven Narabe Speed DX equal to the card game. Okay, well, we're not gonna fucking do that. There's Flicky, a port of the arcade game. Is it a decent port? Because Flicky's pretty alright. As long as it's done properly. Uh. Honestly, it looks like it doesn't play as good as the arcade one, obviously, but it looks serviceable. I guess. Even if whoever's playing this is really bad, Jesus Christ! Not to say I'm good at it. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's 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 just flicky. That's just flicky. Uh, Sonic Speed DX again. Not to be confused with Speed DX. I mean, it's basically the same game, just a. Okay, so it's. They really like speed to the card game for some reason. Sonic Reversi Hyper, sequel to Reversi, I guess. We, we already know what that one's going to be. Sonic Timing of the Train, a game where you chase Eggman who is on a train for some reason. Y yeah? Yeah? It's unique so far. I'll give him that. Get, get on the train. There you go. Oh, who's who's okay? I don't know who exactly is asking for this. The point is just to run and get on the train. I guess so. This isn't much of a game. Kind of sorta of now with a bunch of obstacles and stuff in the way. So you're literally just getting on a train. Because Eggman got on the train. Alright. Uh, Sonic Casino Poker. Lost the time forever. Sonic Putter. Lost forever. Sonic Bowling again. Lost forever. Sonic Golf DX. It, is it better Sonic Golf or is it just... It's Sonic 3D Golf. But with better graphics! Hey! This looks like an actual fucking Sonic Golf game. Sonic Golf on the Sega Saturn. So the music is still... Uh, it looks like Sonic is still the only playable character. It's once again... Well, no, I was going to say it's once again a boring golf course, but no, the Green Hill's in the background there, it looks like. Everybody's just playing a Sonic. That's kind of boring. That's a pretty good looking Sonic. Unfortunately, it's still just a, a whatever golf game it looks like, so... 
But for a, a 2000 whatever phone game, that's that's not bad. Not bad. And then Sonic Tennis DX, which is gone forever. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other games here that we're not going to cover this time because these come out very late 2000s. Stuff like Sonic Cricket, Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Unleashed, which we're going to wait to cover that when, you know, we play Sonic Unleashed because this is, this is a weird fucking port. Second All-Star Racing, Sonic Runners. So event we're going to have another Sonic Mobile game stream at some point. But we covered a majority of the early 2000s ones, which were not great, if I'm being completely honest. But we do have one more here, which is apparently, we saved it for last because it straight up says in the, the fucking thing here that it's, it's bad. It's a port of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 1. And they still somehow find a way to make that sound bad. I don't understand. How do they keep doing it? And why, why, why did they loop it so fast? Whatever. Uh. You know what? That doesn't sound bad. It's, hold on. Whoa, hey! You know what? Okay, you know what? No, I changed my mind. It's a bad port. I was gonna say, this, this feels like Sonic 1. It looks like Sonic 1. It's, you know, it's just a shame about the, uh, goddamn soundtrack having a hard time in the background. Wasn't there an invincibility back here somewhere? There it is. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? All right, well that's new. Sonic One EXE is is stopped working. But. You know what? It feels like Sonic 1, it just doesn't sound like Sonic 1. Let's see how the special stage works. For a uh, flip phone port of Sonic 1, this is actually pretty alright. I'm just that good, baby. Apparently, they don't- they don't even have the- oh, what the fuck? They don't even have the special stages in. You, you just straight up get the Chaos Emerald. For having 50 rings at the end. That's all bad. Please stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on with this swing?! What's going on with this fucking swing?! Holy shit! The, uh, the momentum in this game might be a little fucked up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little too fast. Also, I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to see anything on such a... Slim screen? I say a small screen, but the, the reason it's small is my fault. Uh, oh. Hey, well, look at that. They got rid of the instant death side pits. I don't know how to describe them. You just run off those straight to your death. Uh, 
Oh. I mean, if this is literally just Sonic 1 on the phone, it's pretty alright. I mean, it has some problems, like whatever the fuck is going on down there. Like, even that worked! That's crazy! This must have been on one of those high-end mobile phones back in the day. Ow. Ow! Apparently I can get hit multiple times because there's no invincibility. I, uh, again want to hear what Marble Zone sounds like. I really like Marble Zone's theme. Clearly, I want to hear it be butchered. Also, Eggman's theme. Ah, uh, you know what? That's not bad. Really wish I could see how many rings I have, though. Nice. Oh, the checkpoint is literally right there. Okay, apparently just jumping right into it kills you for some reason. Also, apparently I've just lost the invincibility forever. What the fuck did I get hit by? What? What's happening? Well, maybe it's not a good port. So, hold on here. If I load up... If I load this up here... Because this one was split into two, so if I load up part two, where is it going to start me? Please don't tell me it's just Sonic 2. Well, the goddamn... Finger wag is fine here. It's out. Alright, well, cool. I'm not starting at Labyrinth Zone. I don't give a shit. Fuck that! Had enough Labyrinth Zone through Sonic 1 in the Game Gear games, I'm not dealing with that shit ever again. Ever again! So yeah, that's, uh... That's early 2000s Sonic Mobile games. They're... They were probably fine for the time, but now they're just... They're nothing. The last one was pretty alright. Until we got to the Eggman fight, and it became just... Unplayable. Sonic Golf was... A surprise! And everything else was just card games. I don't know what I was expecting. Clearly that's my fault. Maybe the next time we cover Sonic Mobile games, there'll be uh, a little more variety. A little better. Probably not. But with this one done, uh, we will be taking a break from our Sonic streams on Saturdays. Because starting Tuesday, we'll officially be starting the Soge Snake Screamies. Which means that uh, every stream in October, we'll be playing a horror game. So, look forward to that, because I like horror games. Turns out not a lot of people do, so this is for me. Uh, but once the Screamies end, at the end of October, starting November, uh, we're going to be finishing off... We're going to be continuing Persona 3. We're not going to be finishing that anytime soon. 
And the Sonic streams will continue on Saturdays uh, with Sonic Adventure 2, which I've been looking forward to. Maybe this whole goddamn marathon was just so that I had an excuse to go to Sonic Adventure. I fucking confirmed nothing. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's future me's problem. We got a whole month of screamies to go through, so... Yeah. Other than that, I'm tired. I don't have anything else to say, so, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in, and, uh... I guess we'll see everybody on Tuesday for the official start of the Screamies. So we'll see everybody then.